What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a waving flag animation inside Adobe After Effects. Now when I was researching how to do this video tutorial, a lot of the tutorials that I ran across or came across was trying to sell you stock footage to get the waving effect. So I wanted to make this tutorial to show you guys how to create that from scratch so you don't have to purchase any third party software or stock footage. And I'm using the American flag in this example guys, but if you have your own flag, feel free to use that. Or if you're looking for a country's flag, good website to use is called freepick.com. I'll leave, leave a link down in the video description, so feel free to go check them out. And with that guys, let's get started in this video tutorial by going inside After Effects, hitting the like button, and let's dive into this. So I'm inside Adobe After Effects, and to get started, what we're going to do first is create the composition that holds the wave animation. So I'm going to go to Composition, New Composition, and we'll call this the Wave Animation. I'm going to set my settings to 1920 by 1080, 29 frames a second. 30 seconds is good for the length, and click OK. Now next we're going to create a solid, and the solid is going to hold all the effects that create the wave. So what I'm going to do is go to Layer, New Solid. I'm going to name this Wave Animation, and click OK. The first effect that we're going to apply is called Fractal Noise. So in the Effects and Presets panel, I'm going to type in Fractal Noise, Under Noise and Grain, click and drag that to your solid. And in the top left, we're going to change a few settings to get it kind of looking the way we want. We're first going to change the Fractal Type to Dynamic Twist. We're going to leave Noise Type at Soft Linear. Contrast, we're going to change to around 130. We're going to leave Brightness at 0. Then under the transform settings, we're going to change the scale to around 400. And this will scale it up a little bit. Next, we're going to keyframe a few things. We're going to first keyframe the evolution. And this just keyframes kind of like, you know, the difference in the wave, essentially. It doesn't really move it, it just kind of moves it around a little bit. We're going to click the stopwatch next to evolution, scroll out to the end, and change the evolution cycles to around 10. 10 revolutions, I should say, and that just kind of swirls it around a little bit. Kind of gives it a little bit of randomness. Next, we're actually going to animate uh, it as if it's going from left to right or right to left. This really depends which way you want your flag to go. In this case, I want it to go from the left to the right. So to do this, I'm going to keyframe offset turbulence, then go out forward in time a little bit. I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and uh, pull it to the right and really go out quite a ways here. Give it a nice uh, going from left to right animation. And when we play this back, you'll see that it goes from left to right. Now, if you want it the other way, you would just do the opposite. Instead of going to the right, you go to the left. Or if you want to go up and down, you could also do the Y value as well. All right, so this is looking good. You might be wondering, like, John, this doesn't really look like a waving animation, but we're going to add a few more effects to get it looking nice. So I'm going to collapse this effect in the top left, and next the effect we're going to add is called Gaussian Blur. So we're going to go to Effect, Blur, and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to change the blurriness to around 200. Be sure that Repeat Edge Pixels is on, so that kind of blurs it out a little bit, and the next effect we're going to add is called CC Slant. So we're going to click on the layer, in Effects and Presets, we're going to type in CC Slant. This is going to be the key effect, guys. This adds the slanting to make it look like it's a flag or a banner and kind of distorts it in a way that looks pretty good. So we're going to change the slant to around 205. And we're going to change the height to around 527. So now if we look, now we got a nice banner type of thing happening. But we're going to, we have this black thing here. We're going to, what we're going to do to solve this is click on the layer, click S to bring up scale, change, scale it up to around 130. I'm holding down shift and just sliding this over a little bit. That way we cover that black area. And now guys, we have a nice little banner animation. So there you go, you guys don't need to purchase any third-party stock footage. I hope this has helped you to kind of create the animation. Now let's put this animation into a flag. All right, so the next part, we're going to create a new composition, and that will hold this animation inside the flag, essentially our, our final animation here. So go to Composition, New Composition. We'll call this Flag Animation. Final. 
should never name things final because it's never the final. But in this tutorial, it's the final. And with this 1920, same settings as the wave animation, click OK. And then in our project panel, we're going to import our file. All right, so I have my flag in my finder. I'm just going to click, drag, and drop it into our project panel to import it inside After Effects. I'm going to click and drag this to our new composition timeline. I'm going to click S on the keyboard to bring up scale. I'm going to scale this down a little bit. I'm going to leave a little bit of room around the edge of the composition window here. Uh, because once we start adding the displacement or you know the wave effect, it's going to kind of uh, squeeze the edges a little bit. You want a little bit of room, unless you actually want it you know, inside. You can do this as well, but I'm going to leave a little bit of room on the outside. Next, I'm going to rename this layer. So I'm going to click on the layer, click return, and name this flag graphic. That way we know this is the graphic of the flag. Next, I'm going to go in my project panel. I'm going to bring in the wave animation. I'm going to bring it underneath the flag graphic layer. And what I'm going to do next is add the effect to the flag graphic that's actually going to add the wave to this flag graphic. So in your effects and presets, I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to type in displacement map. And this will be the key effect that kind of gives it that uh, waviness. It combines the two layers together. I'm going to click and drag this to the flag graphic. And we're going to change a few of the settings up here. We're going to change the map layer to the wave animation. So that's the effect it's pulling from, or the layer it's pulling from. I'm going to change the horizontal displacement to luminance. I'm going to change this value to around 50. And change the vertical displacement to luminance. And change this value to around 100. And the last setting we're going to change is displacement map behavior to stretch map to fit. And this will basically stretch that uh, displacement to the full length. So now when we play it back, you'll see that we actually have the waving effect here. And one other thing that I forgot to add is if you go back into the wave animation, you can actually click on this layer and you can add a coloring effect. We're going to add a curves effect. And what this is really good at is, depending on how your wave looks here, if you give it a little bit more contrast by making an S curve, the wave is going to show up a little bit better in that final animation. And I'll show you once I go back to flag animation, you can see more of the curve happening. So the more contrast that you have in your wave animation, the more it shows up in the displaced map. So now if we play this back, we have a nice wave happening here. So the last thing I'm going to do, guys, is add the shadow back into this effect to make it look more realistic. And that's pretty easy, guys. What I'm going to do here is just click on the wave animation, hit Command-D to duplicate it, move it above. I'm going to click on it, change the mode to multiply. And this basically only passes through the darks. And click T on your keyboard. And I liked uh, around 80%, but it really depends on your preference here, how dark you want the shadows to show up. You can do this you know, lighter or uh, more or less, depending how you like it. 60 looks a little bit better. And there you go, guys. That is a finished waving banner flag graphic thing inside Adobe After Effects. So I hope you learned some new things here in this tutorial. If you want to learn a little bit more about the different effects I use as a motion designer and visual effects artist, I'll link it right up here, the top 10 effects I use all the time when designing different things. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new, and we'll see you next time. Take care.